And numeric and numeric didn't share data. They were just two. So you could have a gigabyte of numeric numeric data and a gigabyte of numeric data, and they wouldn't share it. Yeah. And so you had these, then you had these scientific libraries written on top. I got really bugged by that. Yeah. I got really like, oh man, this is not good. We're not cooperating now. We're not, we're sort of redoing each other's work and we're just this young community. So that's what led me, even though I knew it was risky because my, uh, you know, I, had, I was on a tenure track position, 2004, I got reviewed. They said, hey, things are going okay. You're doing well. Paper's coming out. But you're kind of spending a lot of time in this open source stuff. Maybe do a little less of that and a little more of the paper writing and grant writing, which was naive, but it was definitely the time, you know, the thinking. And it still goes on. Still goes on. You're basically creating a thing which enables science in the 21st century. Right. Um, maybe don't emphasize that so much right. in your free or tenure. Right. <laughs> It illustrates it, some of the challenges. Yes, it, 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 it does. It's and it's people mean well. <laughs> yeah, like but we've gotten broken yeah. in a bunch of ways. Certain, and, 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 certain things, uh, programming, understanding the role of software engineering right. programming exactly. in society is a little bit lagging. Exactly. Yes. Now, I was in an electrical engineering position. Right. So, which, That's even you know, worse. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, it was very. They were very focused, and so you know, good people. And I had a great time. I, I, I loved my time. I loved my teaching. I loved all the things I did there. The problem was this split was happening in this community that I loved. Yeah. Right? I saw people and I went, oh my gosh, this is going to be, this is not great. And so I happened, you know, with fate, uh, I had a class I had signed up for. I, I, it's a, I was trying to build an MRI system. So I, just, I had a kind of a radio, a, instead of a radio, a digital radio class, it was a digital MRI class. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had people sign up, two people signed up, then they dropped. And so I had nobody in this class. So, and I didn't have any other courses to teach. And I thought, oh, I've got some time. And I'll just write. I'll just write a replay a, a merger of numeric and numeric. Mm -hmm. Like I'll basically take the numeric code base, add the features numeric was adding, and then kind of come up with a single array library that everybody can use. So that's where NumPy came from. Was my thinking? Hey, I can do this, and who else is going to? Because at that point, I'd been around the community long enough, and I'd written enough C code. I knew, I knew the structures. And I, I in fact, my first contribution to numeric had been writing the C API documentation that went in the first documentation for NumPy, for numeric, sorry. This is Paul Dubois, David Asher, Conrad Hinson, and myself. Mm -hmm. I got credit because I wrote this chapter, mm -hmm. which is all the C API of, of numeric, like all the C stuff. So I said, ah, I'm probably the one to do it. No, you know, nobody else is going to do this. So it's sort of out of, a, out of a sense of duty and passion, knowing that uh, I don't think my academic, I don't think the department here is going to appreciate this, but I, it's the right thing to do. I was so, like, uh, can, can we just link on that moment? Yeah, because yeah. The importance of the way you thought and the action you took, I feel is is understated and um, is rare, and I would love to see so much more of it because what happens as the tools become more popular, uh, there's a split that happens. Mm -hmm. And it's a truly heroic and impactful action to in those early, in that early split to step up and you, it's like, great leaders throughout history like get what is the brave heart like get on a horse <laughs> and and rile the troops because i think that can have make a big difference we have tensorflow versus pytorch in the machine learning community. we have the same problem today yeah, yeah it's, i wonder it's actually bigger <laughs> i wonder if it's possible to in the early days to rally the troops it is possible especially in the early days the longer it goes the harder right, right? And the more energy in the factions the harder but in the early days it is possible and it's extremely helpful. I and mean, there's a willingness there, yeah. but but there, but the challenge is there's usually not a willingness to fund it. Yeah. There's not a willingness to, you know, like I was literally walking into a field saying I'm going to do this, and you know, here I am. I, you know, I have five kids at home now. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure builds. <laughs> I, sometimes my wife hears these stories and she's like, "You did what? <laughs> I thought we were going to. I thought you were actually on a path to make sure we had resources and money." But oh, wow. But again. There's a there's an aspect. I'm, I'm a very hopeful person. I'm an optimistic person by nature. I love people. I learned that about myself later on. Uh, uh, part of my uh, in fact, my religious beliefs actually lead to that, and it's why I hold them dear because it's actually how I feel about. That's why it's what leads me to this to these attitudes, sort of this hopefulness and this sense of yeah, it may not it may not work out for me financially or maybe, but that's not the ultimate gain. Mm -hmm. Like that's a thing, but it's not. You know, that's not the scorecard uh, for me. And so I, I just wanted to be helpful. And I knew, and partly because these sci-fi conferences, because the mailing list conversations, I knew there was a lot of need for this, right? And so I had this, it wasn't like I was alone in terms of no feedback. I had these people who knew. 
But it was crazy. Like people who at the time said, yeah, we didn't think you'd be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs>